Hi guys, welcome back to the video. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content and give me a follow on Instagram. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you a little bit more about my morning routine. Um, talk a little bit about uh, the things I do in the morning. Uh, show you the workout I've done today. And basically just talk a little bit about mindset and uh, some motivational tips for you guys. Uh, tune in, let me know what you think about the video and please enjoy. Basically, I've started my day today. It's around 10 a.m. now. Um, woke up at about nine. Like to kind of wake up at the same time every morning. You know, get into that kind of into a routine. I think it's really important um, to not be sleeping in all the time, even though you kind of want to because the days are so long and we don't actually have that much to do. Um, but not sleeping in. Um, I've stuck to a routine so that when we do get back to it, you know. It's, I don't have to change my pattern all over again. Uh, so yeah, it's about 10 o'clock now. I woke up at nine. I'm doing this intermittent fasting, so uh, I'll train without eating uh, in the morning. I just have uh, black coffee. Um, basically intermittent fasting is eating within a, a certain period of the day. Um, I'll put a link to a, a YouTube video that describes this um, from a podcast I've been listening to, which is really good. Um, so basically, yep, yeah, I'll eat between say half twelve uh, and at lunchtime and around seven thirty at night. Um, have my meals in between then. Uh, before that, in the morning, I'll have like I've said on my previous videos about uh, a day in the life of, of eating as a professional footballer. I'll have my big glass of water and, uh, and a black coffee in the morning, which kind of wakes me up. I, it's one of those things that I need. Uh, a lot of people are different, but it's important to do whatever you need in the morning. Um, Intermittent fasting works for me, might not work for you, but this is just a, something, uh, an opportunity that maybe you want to try out if, if you uh, think it might work for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on the bike. Um, I've got luckily some bike equipment here in the apartment. Um, we're still not allowed really to be out and about for too long, so I can get a good workout out on the balcony here. Um, so I'll do that. We have a program from the fitness coach at our team at Howgang United who's sent me. Um, a lot of it's running but he's given me an extra program for the bike so I'm going to be doing that. I'll post on here to show you what that bike um, workout is. So I'll probably be on there for about an hour. Um, really good way to wake up, you know, get your workout done and then I'll be moving on to, to have some food and uh, start the rest of my day. So hope everyone's doing well. Have a look at this workout and see if it's something that you might want to do as well in the morning and uh, I'll be back very soon. So today's bike session, doing a warm up right now, um, is basically going to be a power uh, workout. You know I've been given three or four different ones for the week uh, but today's is power so it's going to be uh, a minute long each um, set or rep sorry. Uh, 10 seconds is going to be 100% power, fast as you can go. Um, and then the other 50 seconds is a slow cycle. So it's not necessarily gonna make you exhausted, but it's working on that short and sharp burst. Uh, so we're gonna do six repetitions of this, six minutes work. Gonna have two or three minutes break in between and do four sets all together. So four minutes of work, good maths from me. It's not really that bad, but my coach wants me to work on a little bit of power at the moment so important for football to have those short and sharp bursts so that's the session today so Wednesday session was two minutes of hard work and 30 seconds break 70 or 80 percent in the hard work and then bringing it right down for your 30 seconds to almost stopping um, so I did that one on Wednesday it's about 45 minutes really tough workout on Wednesday and Monday is a 45 minute medium paced bike almost like a recovery from the uh, fitness sessions that we've been doing um, Monday through Sunday uh, every other day so I'll give this one a go today I did it last week it was good it wasn't exhausted but you can definitely feel it uh, when you get into the last few sets so uh, I'll check in with you after I'm done
two sets down now. A little bit harder than I was expecting today. I think we had a tough session yesterday on the Zoom call, so body's a little bit sore today, but that's okay. Um, I was reading something about Cristiano Ronaldo, and he that he'd, he'd come back from uh, the quarantine and the lockdown in better condition than before he'd left, which was three quarters of the way through the season. And I think that just speaks of his mindset, you know. I think we all need to have that kind of mindset where even though we have setbacks, we, uh, we're looking to, to get better. And that's kind of what I took into this lockdown, you know. I want to come out stronger, I want to come out fitter than I was. It gives you a chance to rest your body, but also work on areas that you may not be able to work on. So if anyone's not really feeling it or sick of the lockdown, you've got tomorrow to rest. Get out and get something done today. Just speaking on motivation, guys, the one thing I do uh, the, the night before I'm going to work out, so if I'm working out five or six times a week, uh, I'll put on the shorts or the boxes that I'm, I know I'm going to work out in the next day. Might sound silly to some people, but the first thing I do is I wake up and I know I've got my workout shorts on, and I'm gonna make sure that I have to I have to work out before I take those off. Okay, just one small little thing that helps me. Try it. If it works, brilliant. If not, then you know works for me. So it's a good one. Good one. A good good one. You know, I read a lot of things about different shakes, different diets, everything, and I've tried a lot of them. But for me, there's nothing that beats just working hard, okay? Getting out there, running, biking, swimming, anything. If you wanna look better, feel better, you've gotta work hard. People wanna cut corners too much these days. It's a chat I've been having with quite a few people. You know, they wanna look better doing less. I understand it. But, especially while we've got this time in lockdown, get yourself out there and do some hard work. It's not gonna kill you. Two more sets to go on the bike, a little 10 minute cool down after that. Onto some press ups and core every day, 100 press ups and a little seven, eight minute ab blast. For abs, you don't need to be doing them for 30 minutes necessarily. You can if you want, there's no harm in it. But seven or eight minutes are hard. Core exercises are good. You know, there's loads of videos on YouTube that you can look up um, that have a real good blast for seven or eight minutes. Uh, so I'll be doing one of those after that. Then get some food in me, start the day.
Press ups done, 100 smashed. Now I'm gonna be going on doing a little bit of ab workout. Like I said, not too long. I usually follow along with a YouTube video, which I can put in the link below, uh, six or seven minutes. Uh, but today I'm gonna do a little one of my own, uh, some exercises that I've learned. Um, short and short. I'll either be going on a run later or uh, doing another little bit of a workout later on. So this is just to get me ticking over. Uh, always feels good to get something done in the morning. So let's do it.
Okay guys, so six, seven minutes of abs. Try to do 15, at least 15 reps on each. Uh, good little one, just get your core burning. After a, a cardio workout, you know, you can do it anywhere. Not really any exercise apart from the ball, but the other one you can do is if you don't have the ball, it's just like this, okay? So the workout done for the morning, like I said, I'll be doing a run or another workout later. I'm not really sure what yet, um, but gonna get a shower and then uh, have a shake and get some food in. Okay guys, that's me showered and sorted. Um, I'm gonna be having a shake now. Um, like if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that it's really important to get some protein in after a workout. So premium, 100% weight, and 250 mils of water. Also going to be having some eggs and um, three eggs whisked, whisked up. Put some veggies in there, and I'm going to have some of that with some tuna. Uh, doesn't sound too appetising, but really good breakfast for me, um, especially while we're not training to kind of keep the calories down. And uh, I'll be having that with with a coffee as well. So once that's all ready, I'll uh, I'll show you what the final product looks like. especially out here in the heat when we're sweating a lot um, we lose a lot of our salt so um, adding a little bit of salt and pepper gives it a little bit of taste and also uh, good in, in small amounts so, um, here we go a little bit of olive oil on there um, I know a lot of people use coconut oil and I also, also do sometimes but today I'm going to be just using um, a little bit of olive oil uh, get some extra fat in. I'm um, going to have a few onions uh, put in there to start with. i also add some lettuce after, just for a little bit of a crunch. Um, it's going to be half a can of tuna, just to flake some water and a little bit of uh, turkey as well. Um, all good protein, really healthy, not many carbs in there, uh, or bad carbs. So I'll get these eggs whisked in and uh, set it up and show you the final product. Okay guys, there's the final product. Eggs, tuna, a little bit of chicken in there. Uh, lettuce, no nutritional value in the lettuce, but just for me, a little bit of a crunch, which I quite like. Lots of water today, it's a hot day again. Um, so important to get as much water as possible. Um, today, I don't actually have too much to do. You know, we've had a hard week of um, Zoom calls. Uh, we have another one tomorrow, so I'm not gonna do too much upper body. Like I said, I might go for a run later. Um, or do a little bit of stretching, some yoga or something like that. Uh, you know, it's quite boring uh, being in the house all day as we're still in lockdown. Still waiting to hear on the league. Um, be really looking forward to doing some more videos outside, you know, doing some training, some free kicks, anything um, that I know that people really want to see. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, like I said, there's a lot more that I want to be doing uh, very soon, but I'm very limited at the moment, so uh, if you're enjoying them, please like, subscribe, share them around, uh, give me a follow on Instagram. Um, page is doing really well at the moment, you know, we're building subscribers and that's the main thing, helping a lot of people. I've had a lot of messages on Instagram uh, from people who have been watching the videos, saying they're enjoying them and asking for some advice and stuff. So uh, thank you for all of those messages. I'll get to you as many as possible as well. Uh, there's a couple I haven't got to just yet. Um, but yeah, keep going guys. Uh, still hard time for everyone. Keep motivated. Keep motivating yourself. Um, educate yourself when you're doing workouts. Listen to some podcasts. Um, watch some documentaries. I know the one about Michael Jordan and that kind of mindset is amazing to watch. Uh, it shows you what you have to be to get to the top. Um, research some things that your favourite athletes are doing and, uh, and it'll make you a better person. Okay guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you very soon.